Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. Uh, the other day, I showed you guys how to make pork carnitas in the crock pot. Now, I don't know about you, but I've mentioned many times that it's just two of us here, and even with giving my mother-in-law a portion of what I'm making, I still frequently have leftovers. So I thought I'd show you a couple of different ways to use up leftover pork roast. And I think that using up a leftover pork roast sometimes is a little harder than say chicken. I mean, chicken, you can think of a thousand million things to do with leftover chicken, but pork, you really kind of have to think about. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas today. And, and once you start thinking about it, there's actually quite a few things you can do with a leftover pork roast, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I don't know, three or four anyway. So what I'm going to do, the, first of all, the easiest thing is to make a pork barbecue sandwich. And the very easiest way to do that is to take some of your um, shredded pork, leftover pork here, and just put it in a pan on the stove and add your favorite traditional barbecue sauce, whatever one that is to you. And just heat it up on the stove very gently and then put it on a bun and eat it that way, have some chips with it, and you've got a very simple supper. Very, very easy. Now, if you wanna take a step up from there, you can take, again, take your shredded pork, and what I've done with this particular pork here is I put just a little tiny bit of water in it, I covered it with plastic wrap, and I put it in the microwave just to warm it up. It, this is already cooked, so you're not looking to cook it, you're just looking to get it warm. And so I, I've done that. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and I'm gonna show you how to make a white barbecue sauce. And I'm told that this is a Southern style barbecue. So what you do is you take a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise and what I'm showing you here, this is probably enough for one to two sandwiches. So if you need more than that, you know, just double the recipe as you would need to. And add to that one tablespoon of white vinegar. And I'm just going to mix that in a little bit. I should have used a bigger bowl, but it's all right. There's not much, much else going in here. Okay. And then you want to add a quarter of, or I'm sorry, a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. And this is just, if you have fresh, that's so much the better. Uh, this is from a bigger jar that I had, a much bigger jar, and I was tired of looking at that big jar in my refrigerator, so I put it in something smaller. And a pretty healthy dose of black pepper. Okay, And you're just going to mix all of that up. Okay. All right, just, just like that. Let's see if we can get that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your, your bun, and you can use any kind of bun that you'd like, and you're going to add your pork to the sandwich just like that. You can pile it high if you want, if you're a big eater. Woo, yummy. Oops, dropsies. And then you're gonna add some of this mayo. And I didn't mix this up terribly, terribly well, but you'll get the point. You're gonna add some of this delicious white barbecue sauce, just like that. My husband absolutely loves this stuff. He, when he first saw it, he thought it was so weird. And then he tasted it. And now he could just eat this stuff with a spoon. I am not kidding you. Then, if you want to, you can add some of that tri-color um, coleslaw mix that you get at, in the um, produce section, and this will just give the sandwich a nice little crunch. This would be basically like your lettuce. And so there you go. You've got one beautiful little sandwich there. So, And again, you can add some chips to that or some french fries, whatever you want. Okay, so our next sandwich that I'm going to show you is a Cubano sandwich. Now, 
This is not a traditional Cubano sandwich. Okay, this is not very terribly traditional. This is more of a, it gets the point across Cubano sandwich, but it is still delicious. So the first thing you need is some mustard. Now you can use any kind, I'm just using yellow, regular old yellow mustard, but if you have spicy brown or something, you can use that too. Now I'm gonna talk to you about mustard a little bit here. I do not like mustard, mm -mm, I just don't. However, I like it on this sandwich. And I can't explain that. To me, mustard is an ingredient. It is not a condiment. But when I make a recipe the first time, I usually try to stick fairly close to the recipe the first time, just so I can see. Maybe I won't mind it on something else. Sometimes when you cook a vegetable, it tastes different. Sometimes when you you know, do, put it with a different combination of foods, it tastes different. So I think that is exactly what's going on here with the Cubano. So anyway, there's your mustard. And I'm going to take some of this nice um, pork. And this is sliced this time. And if, if all you have is shredded, that's fine. If it's just shredded, that's whatever, it's fine. Then you want to add some ham and you can just use deli ham. Whatever you've got is absolutely fine. And some Swiss cheese. Okay. Very critical. And pickles, dill pickles to this. Okay. And then I'm going to use a thinner pickle. There we go. That's better. Then you're going to take this and you're going to put it on the panini press and put it in there until until it gets warm and melty and everything gets warm and delicious and yummy. Now, if you don't have a panini press, what can you use? Well, if you have a grill pan, you can use a grill pan and put it on the stove and just weight your sandwich down with something like another pan, another heavy pan. You can also just use a regular frying pan and again, just weight the sandwich down or you can use your barbecue grill um, if you've got one. And now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer, you can do that. I think if I were doing that, I would probably wrap it in aluminum foil and then put it on the grill and weight it down for a little bit. That's just me. I've not tried that, but that makes sense in my brain. And I think that would work very well. So now, uh, while this is still cooking, a couple of other things you can do with a leftover pork roast. You can slice it up and add it to some brown gravy or pork gravy, and you can even just buy the jarred gravy or the powdered gravy and make that up and then just warm it all up together. Perfectly fine, makes a good meal. Um, you can also, if you only have a little bit, like, like this, you only have a tiny bit, you could also chop that up and add it to fried rice is another thing you can do. Um, you can certainly also um, make like a Chinese stir fry out of it too. So that's yet another idea of something to do with leftover pork roast. So I hope you give one or all of these recipes a try. And um, well, I hope you do. And you know what? I know you've got this guys.